Yay! Need out. <laughs> Our epic the, war cry. The, at the end of the battle. Yes, we want to keep the Wambat. So someone who did request being named a Pokemon um, was Kim. So we're going to name it after Kim. Kim Chan Reviews. Yeah. Kim I was just wondering Kim if we could fit <laughs> Kim Chan Reviews. Kim Chur. We could probably fit Kim Review. Oh, we'll just leave this Kim. Yeah. Kim, Kim the Wambat. There you go. Yeah, now a fat bat. <laughs> and don't you forget it. <laughs> you have the power to blind others. <laughs> we can get some chocolate bars and two stamps. But and we'll get gold. even more stamps from the spice seller and then even more from the... Yeah. From the Tika it. Mahala maker. The prospective Tika Mahala. We just got four fish burgers, boy. And for wow. Gilders. <gasps> we can get the special thingamajig that lets us sneak up on more things. Yay! We've only got two more to get. Do we have to get both of those two before any more unlock? No idea. <laughs> okay. Something, 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 air on board. Something, something. <laughs> okay, so you saying the other two are still fighting. I remembered seeing them flashing last time we were here. Now I know that you can actually find out where things are by talking to the bounty hunt. I may do all the bounty hunts off camera then. Uh -huh. They are a little dull but useful. Yeah. Yeah, there they are. See. They're not flashing. They're not flashing. You lying bastard. They always appear on the map. Hmm. They're only flashing if there's something interesting. Uh, can Can you see whether it's still marked as undone, incomplete, incomplete, Was that indone? Original? Yeah, they're all, they're all either complete or underway. So what happened? Oh, I hate this uh, controller. <laughs> is oh, it just okay. a bug then? I, it unless, it, it? Unless, unless it meant news in, I haven't seen this on that particular screen before. <laughs> Which, for this game, I wouldn't put it past. Maybe. Um, hmm. Oh well, back, back to the fishing village. Let's go on a shipping Barbie. adventure. No, we're going to almost undoubtedly get a magical pot attack, so let's save. And by save, I mean heal up. What, you think the pot's going to attack us again? Something will. Okay. Oh, she was saying something about stuff, stuff, yeah. But it's okay, we've got the words on, on some um, crushed tree now, so... And whilst we're here. Where to now, boss? Wherever the star takes us. <laughs> she was apparently down there. She had a thought once. Pretty check that chest. Oh, cutscene. Hey, everybody here's wearing a swimsuit, huh? Yes, no wonder they call it Seaside Paradise of the South. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they are not dressed correctly. Very disrespectful. I'm not sure if I'm an old man or woman. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's like Ding Dong Dell all over a flipping again. Jesus. It's like they've never seen travelers here before in a shipping port where they must get hundreds of travelers coming through sea, through by sea, with trade and clothes. Nope, nope, never. Do you want to do Gavin Howard? Come now, what is this disturbance in the force? Ah, Governor. The very person we need. I think that was the old lady again. I think it's it was, yeah. Tell. What do we have here? Hmm? You are visitors to our town, I take it. I used my thinking to work that out. You must know that all who enter this place are required by, by law to wear the appropriate attire, I speak, of course, of the bathing suit. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> That's why. Uh-huh. I think we're just going to leave. But we aren't planning on moving here, is it? We'll just like 
passing through. Like. <laughs> Nonetheless, the law must be obeyed. The dark days of the past, when people wore clothing over all their body, cannot be revisited. We once had great trouble here with people smuggling things under their coats. So we were like, let's make people even more naked so it's harder. And now, uh, hence the phrase in this town of, is that a stolen good in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, but I think your policy of getting people to wear bathing suits <laughs> to stop crime is fucking retarded. You know... Now that I look at this place, there isn't even anything good to steal. <laughs> um, <laughs> your logic seems impeccable, but I'm going to ignore it. And give you anecdotal evidence. The best kind of evidence. <laughs> Basically, I really like swimsuits. And for this reason, I devised a means of maintaining the peace. Making everybody wear swimsuits makes me happy, so I kill less people. Um, my midriff is showing, does that count? Yes, but not quite. <laughs> you have to wear a bathing suit. Oh. What is he, flipping crackers or something? What difference would that make? A great difference indeed, fairy. If somebody wears a bathing suit, one cannot conceal a weapon. Ho ho ho! I, I don't know what you mean. My bathing suit conceals my weapon. <laughs> <laughs> and no matter what their homeland may be, all who come here must dress in the same manner. You know, not, none of the other people we spoke to in this town noticed. It's just the people over here. I, I realized that in the real world, this would piss off a lot of people of a certain religion and it wouldn't end well. I know, that's exactly what I was thinking. Also, the old lady in the background, even if that's swimwear, you could easily hide a weaponry under that. She could have a dagger strapped to the inside of her thigh. I hear yeah. that's a thing. <laughs> Thank you, Emperor's New Groove, for teaching me many valuable life lessons. Dicks turn into llamas. Old ladies put daggers on the insides of their thighs. And this controller is just skipping forward the dialogue slowly. I think we should keep up with uh, okay, it. Okay, okay. Um, of course, I met ridicule at first when I suggested everyone wears bathing suits, but I did not waver. I remained true to my vision of more scantily clad people, and I put away my resentment and frustration at those who think I'm being sexist or perverted. And why was I able to show such restraint? <laughs> <laughs> because I had a dream. Because everyone was watching me, so I couldn't just... A dream of one-piece suits in the place of my birth. Gee, I thought it, that people were dressed like that because people like to be hot. <laughs> <laughs> me too. That's why I dress like this. That's and I'm legally obliged to. <laughs> Bye, my papa and oh, masters. Oh, oh, you're not the first to think so, but this only proves how peaceful our town has become. Such a misunderstanding makes me happy. I understand now. There's clearly something in the water making everyone completely fucking retarded. Let's do it! Let's become citizens, citizens of Castaway Cove! Alright then, if we flipping must! But I ain't got a swimsuit, have you? Ho ho! Don't worry, little one! Who are you calling little? Fine, short ass. We have a great wealth of bathing suits prepared for visitors just as, uh, just as yourselves. They may be a little worn, <laughs> quite a lot worn, but uh, some of them have a few questionable stains, but it's fine. The law's the law. Check me out, dolly boy. I look the business in this little number. Huh? Can I point oh, out that Drippy's marvelous. bathing suit is <laughs> no less revealing than his previous one? I know. What do you think? He could have had a weapon under the first one. And he could put, fit a weapon between... Th whatever. She's so sparkly. Uh, ignoring the fact that people have or orifices to hide things in if they're that desperate. Now hold on, ladies. I don't want to have to shoot either one of you. But you're unarmed. You're naked. But that's a compact laser deluxe. Where were you hiding that? I know. You, you could easily conceal something. Anyway, whatever. Sorry I'm late. Sorry I'm late. Okay. 
We may be boys, <laughs> but we ain't entirely what? Why? <laughs> just read. Just read. But it. we aren't entirely ignorant of the more involved nature of the feminine dress, eh, Holly boy? No, I've never spoken to a girl before. <laughs> the, Esther's the only one I've spoken to, and that's because I'm I bought her or won her. I can't remember. It was a while ago. <laughs> ho ho ho! Such cheerful tales of buying and giving. This just brings a tear to my eye. The bathing suits are yours now. For now. You must wear them whenever you visit us. Now at least I can say to you... You look fucking ridiculous. Welcome to the Castaway Cove. <sighs> Jay, thanks. And now we can go look for that flipping boat! Talk about a faff man! I really wish that. <laughs> I really wish that Mr. Drippy's lantern had a bathing suit on as well. well Good. So hang on, we already made it down this far without a bathing suit. Oliver appears to be missing nipples. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone's missing nipples. Like, he's got no nipples. I I'm pretty sure he does. Oh, no. 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 No, no. We... We're not mammals. Secretly, this game is all about fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one has Ooh, nipples. shiny thing. No, I think that's the lady that we spoke to before. No, 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 no. It's the pot. Opposite side of the river. Where? But we could probably go look at the boat instead of the shiny thing. I don't know. <laughs> it's right... There. Oh, uh, well, that's too far away. <laughs> Before it's probably only going to be like 20 guilders. I know. We have so much money. We could get to be picky. Okay, you're doing this guy's voice. Excuse me, sir. Are you the captain of this ship? Pirate voice. Arr, that I am, lad. Captain Sinidon. a master of all who sail in her. I don't know what you just said, but can we borrow your boat? You do not need to tell me that. You're supposed to say, it's a ship! The controller's skimming forth. <laughs> ah, before she is a legendary sea cow. Um, so is that a yes? Hmm, <clears throat> you seek passage aboard me, sea cow, do ye? Maybe if I can <laughs> Maybe if I can ride you up a pony, you can ride my sea cow. <laughs> well, that seems like a fair deal. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly weird chest hair, but I can... I was, about, I was about to say, can, can you get rid of the hamster on your chest first? <laughs> Avas, girl. You believe a mere stroll aboard my planks? <laughs> Um, this is kind of getting weird. Can we just get to the... Can we just cut to the chase? Well, Captain! And may I say what a fine Captain you are! <laughs> the long, young man standing before you! And I know it seems unlikely, but he is a man! <laughs> this unassuming scrap of a boy here, Oliver his name is, he is the only... He is only on a journey to save our flippin' world! And he's only accompanied by none less than myself, Drippy, Lord High Lord of the Fairies. Oh, and I'm Esther. She <laughs> 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 was just completely ignored. I know. <laughs> ah, you be a fairy, be a year. <laughs> I have traveled the world, but never have I seen one of your kind before. So, lad. You travel to save the world with a fairy for a companion. Ha ha ha! Then surely my ship alone will not suffice. You will need two ships, a fleet even. Ha ha ha! That means we get a whole fleet? Oh good! <laughs> but of course, boy, as soon as you have shown me a letter of message oh, we gotta go from back our to beloved Califa, the most... 
Exalted. 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 Lola. <laughs> her name's Lola. We sail after all for her glory and for that of Al Mamoon. My my pirate accent's becoming a bit terrible. Should <laughs> should that should the Caliphate see fit to grant ye pass you permission to come aboard? I will refuse ye nothing. All right, Captain. <laughs> I can't hear ye. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Captain! <laughs> we'll get that letter right now. Ha ha ha! Fine words, lad. But easier said than done, I fear. Still, if you are truly to save our world, it should be work of mere mortals. Moments. Moments. Mortals. Moments. Whatever. Ha ha ha! I don't think he believes us. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> We'll sneak onto the ship one way or another. We're main characters, remember? <laughs> we can bring him the ladder of passaging, or we can set him on fire. <laughs> Magic! The possibilities are endless, Holly ah, boy! After all, it's just a stick. Nobody thought it was a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to Al Mamo. Where is his bottomless bag now? <laughs> what is the vial around Do his neck really as well? Oh, that's the, that's the locket thing. Yeah, to keep the hearts. Yeah. Oh. Caulifer Lola, eh? I wonder what she's like. Looking forward to this, I am. I flippin' love royalty, me. My throat is dying. <sighs> That's fine. We've only got a million miles to go. Yeah. I'll let you on the ship if you cross several miles of desert to go see somebody who we know from trying earlier is currently indisposed. We're now going to go across the desert in our... Swimming shorts. I want to see that. We'll get a nice tan. In Animal Crossing DS, you could get a tan in the summer. You could get it on the GameCube version. A delicious flan. You could also Can't get... I get a tan, but we can get a flan. You could also get a tan from visiting the the tropical island. A flan will keep the sun off our head. There wasn't a tropical island in the Wild World version. Wide, wide World? Wild World? What, why? Where do we get flint from, I wonder? Gravel. <laughs> Give me a fortune spoon and some gravel. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll make that little girl a candle maker. <laughs> For stamps. <laughs> For stamps! Whoa, one ran away. Bravely ran away, away, bravely ran away. Okay. We'll meet you back at the place. Did you people. get the shiny thing over by the... You didn't. When we, we did. They respawn. Oh, okay. Well, fine then. Oh, Esther, watch out! <laughs> he doesn't care about Esther. No. Oh, shiny thing. I think it's another wet rock. Yeah. Just, just slowly gonna... collecting them from a yes. pond. <laughs> our, our pockets are going to get slowly saggier. And that pond is going to get slowly deeper. <laughs> Eventually it'll become the chasm of the deep and we'll have to dive down into it to go collect something with our bathing suits. Is that is that a pseudo monkey? Oh yeah. Very good. I like the pom pom trees. Yeah, they don't really have any purpose. They look like the save point from some sort of game, is it? Um kind of like um Sonic. Kirby. Oh yeah, maybe Sonic. Because they were blue and red or blue and spun around. Yeah. Kirby didn't really have save points in the traditional sense. I mean, it did, but not like... Like, points. um, checkpoints. Yeah. That's what I meant. They didn't have any visual representation, though. Okay. Oh, look, cutscene. So what... So where do we need to go exactly? Weren't you listening? No, of course you weren't. Uh, to where the cowlifer is, ain't it? Oh, no, no. That, that is a hilarious... That is a hilarious line. Weren't you listening cloth ears? <laughs> yeah, I've heard it before. Fine. Weren't you listening cloth... Never mind. <laughs> Don't worry. I can speak. It's behind the main square. Oliver, I'll show you the way. I've taken a lot of people <laughs> from there before. <laughs> huh? 
Yikes. Hmm, I wonder if that was a client. <laughs> What's wrong, Esther? Nothing. I just had a funny feeling. I'm sure it's nothing. I often feel that round clients. Something between fear and hatred. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay, sure. How are we supposed to know what sort of voice to give this character when it's just question marks? I know, this was really not clearly not designed for people doing no. stupid voices for all the characters, was it? No, but then why is it all in... Whatever. Um... By the beards of the mighty, the regal lines, the majestic curve of the nostrils, your this nose is going to be somebody. Is in every respect, the same as her. This is going to be somebody who knows the great sage Alicia. Oh, maybe not. I'm sorry. Please, can you let me study it? Your nose. What? Who are you? Ah, forgive me. I am but a humble artist. Currently painting the portrait of one to whom you bear the s a most striking resemblance. I look like the person in your portrait. Indeed. Alas, I'm unable to meet her in the flesh. Will you not allow me to study you a little more? <laughs> hey, I charge by the hour for that. Well, if you must, go ahead. <laughs> uh huh. This is kind of creepy. The line of the door is key. Yes, of course. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Damn right you're in That's my a very debt. weird fetish. <laughs> Jawlines. <laughs> I know just what I must do to finish my masterpiece. You have my eternal gratitude. Um, that's all right. You're very welcome. <laughs> I must return to my studio right away. Farewell. Most of the clients are a little rougher. <laughs> wow, he didn't even touch me. That's unusual. <laughs> Whoever that artist is, he sure thinks I'm beautiful. Cranky, these arty types are a bit intense and have weird ideas about beauty, ain't it? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, nothing! Nothing! Um, yeah. <laughs> so, time to get moving, is it? Yeah, let's go. Hey, Ollie, she didn't notice I insulted her at all. No, she's a bit slow. It has its advantages. Oh look, the guards- oh no, they were just too far away.